Jennifer talks about a book that she wrote in 2021 about deliverance and how it is good that there is a resurgence of deliverance happening. I actually have a copy because Jenny held that book up. I actually have a copy of that book right here. Uh, deliverance, Protocols and Ethics. And I want to just highlight some things to you for just a moment. This is said to be um, a handbook of act for accurate deliverance operations. So let me read this to you. On page 18, um, Jennifer says, the goal is lasting deliverance. That's the goal of deliverance ministry. And she says, we know some clients will lose their deliverance because they did not follow proper aftercare protocols that help slam the door on the enemies on the enemy that's looking for a way back in. She says, people you deliver can end up demonized again. However, as far as it depends on the deliverance minister, we need to aim for maximum efficacy. As we go on here, uh, she begins to list protocols for this. And there's 98 protocols that she lists in this book. And this is protocol number three, uh, which is deliverer, deliver thyself. She says, before we allow people on our deliverance teams at Awakening House of Prayer, we require them to go through deliverance ministry. Uh, Jenny Weaver also has her own deliverance team that she established a couple years ago. And one of the things that she tells the ladies in there is that they must go through, there's a whole protocol they have to, unless things have changed, they had to be interviewed by her board of elders um, and then pass that. And then they also had to go through deliverance ministry themselves. They had to go through deliverance. A protocol 27, ask the client to sign a liability waiver. So she mentions about having them sign a liability form that exonerates you from any liability or injury that may occur during the deliverance session. So protocol 35, repent before casting out demons. Keep in mind, watcher demons can spy on us and love to catch deliverance ministers in sin. While devils aren't omnipresent or omniscient, watcher demons, also called monitoring spirits, see there we are, are assigned to believers in the same way angels are assigned to believers. Repenting before deliverance cleanses you from sin that can cause demons a legal right to mock you. So to call 44, develop hand signals. Consider developing some hand signals so that the demon and the client can't hear you communicating in the heat of the deliverance. These can be simple hand signals indicating stop, start, no, yes, do it again, hit that harder, etc. And you only need a few simple hand signals that are self-explanatory. Yeah. Mm, yes. Okay. Protocol 81. Fan the client. I like this one. They've got to fan them because in extremely intense deliverance sessions in which the client has gone down to the ground, they may overheat. Have someone ready with a hand fan to fan the person who may be incapacitated during deliverance. You can even use a piece of paper, anything that cools them down and lets them catch some air. That was actually written in this book. It was written here. Um, you know, don't let the client lie on their face because they could smother. You know, tell the client to leave their eyes open. Consult with experts if needed. I mean, it just goes on. These leaders promote deliverance maintenance. They tell people that every few months they need to see if they need demons cast out of them yet again. Like a car needs an oil change every three to four thousand miles. That you need to have demons cast out every three to four thousand prophetic miles, I guess. I don't know, but it's it's re it's really sad, the things that are taught here. For those of us that know this is going on, then we rest in the freedom we have in Christ because his gospel truly brings freedom. And that freedom means that I don't ever have to worry about demons indwelling me that need to be cast out of me because I have a high view of the Holy Spirit and I have a high view of the gospel and a high view of God's word. And I believe what his word says and whom the sun sets free is free indeed. And the, the enemy that I face from the demonic, I've been delivered from the domain of darkness and transferred into the glorious kingdom of his beloved son in whom I have redemption from the forgiveness of my sins. According to Colossians 1, 13 and 14, I do not fear demons indwelling me. And dear Christian, if your faith is in the God of the Bible and in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who hung on the cross for your sins and died for you and bled for you and washes you clean by his blood and by the finished work on the cross and that you have the glorious promise of eternal life because he rose from the dead in three days, then you don't have to worry about it either. The battle you face with the demonic is outward. It's not inward. And that is good news.